Soul and Sagittarius, we're going to look at some energies here for you starting Jan yeah, January 16th and ending January 22nd, 2023. Sagittarius, I hope all is well. I'm using the Golden Tarot to deliver your energies here. So, um, sit back, relax. This is just me interpreting the cards. Uh, take what's necessary, leave the rest alone. I was just giggling a little bit because there was a comment that came through on one of the videos actually it was your video and the dates was listed um the 9th to the 15th but the person was so uh i guess upset because they felt that you know i was giving sagittarius the raw end of the deal or the stick or something she mentioned in there because she hasn't seen an update for Sagittarius in 10 days. And I'm like, well, <laughs> my response to her was, well, you just commented on a video of Sagittarius, the date listed from the 9th to the 15th. So it sort of like confused me. And it just makes me wonder, it's like, do you guys really listen to what I say in a very, you know, like in the very beginning, I always call out the date, what the period is for. So I, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I just thought it was a little bit bizarre, but anyway, this is for the <laughs> this is for the 16th ending on the 22nd of January 2023. There's no way that I ran 10 days without giving an update to Sagittarius. Plus, I put up um, other videos. You know, it's not just the weekly videos. I did February's love energies, and um, so I don't know. I maybe she was just confused. <clears throat> anyway. Enough of me rambling. Let's get in here and see what's going on here for you potentially. All right, Sagittarius, the first card in energy that opens us up is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands has been popping up quite a bit here. So, you know, I always talk about the Seven of Wands being my regret card. So whatever decisions or actions or moves you want to make this week, you already got to lay it out and plan and stuff. Stick to it. Stand your ground because if you succumb to your own energies, change your mind. Succumb to the energies of the external uh, factors, which could be family members, romantic partners, or friends. Could be co-workers. Then you will still end up with regret. Uh, regret. So always stay steadfast in terms of what you're going to do. So that might be important for some of you this week. Uh, if you are having some sort of uh, ambivalence. Uh, well, no. I feel that you wouldn't have any uh, ambivalence because this is already telling me that you already know what you're going to do. You just have to follow through. Okay, so strike that ambivalence. It's the structure of um, coming down to your own energies and then coming down to the energies of the other people. That should be most concerned. And here we go. The Knight of Swords. All right, this is taking action, making major moves. Follows the card that I just said. You're going to be doing something. In the direction of the past, it's related to what you already figured out that you're going to do this week, okay? Because that's the Knight of Swords. Using your logical mind, Sagittarius, as your, you know, emotional heart so that your emotions don't trip up with uh, any decisions that you got going on or actions you got going on this week. So that's the Knight charging through. Following the Knight of Swords, now we have the Seven of uh, Pentacles here, options. This could be a pay raise for someone, someone working hard. For those coins, as I always mention, uh, could be working hard for, you know, building up for something greater. Uh, options could open up uh, to you from all other areas of your life. Okay, that's the Seven of Pentacles. Up next, the Death card, Major Arcana. Do pay attention to all the Major Arcanas that are revealed here in your spread uh, because they do carry a lot of weight. So, the death card I've been reading uh, since we're still early in the new year, it could be just that you use that factor of an ending. 2022 was the ending for you. Now, 2023 is the rebirth of you, right? So in others, it could be that you still have to get rid of something that is, um, you know, not resonating for you, whatever that may be. Um, only you know. It's always about transitioning, okay? The death card never physically denotes death. It's about major life transformation. So something's about to change here uh, for you, Sagittarius. If, if you know, whether or not it's regarded to 2023, there's going to be some sort of differences. Something that you may have left behind in 2022. Now there's an opportunity to uh, start something completely new, get rid of something that's been 
not working for you and then you know you're given a fresh start following the major arcana the death card the magician and the magician is popping up quite a bit it's a manifestation card so whatever your wants and your de uh, desires are Sagittarius just you know stay true to your mantras your affirmations and your prayers keeping them you know throwing it out there to the universe and just you know once you do that just release it and let it go uh, just stay in alignment, though, you know, because the universe, I always say, test you to see if what you're praying for, what you're affirming and um, what you're doing in terms of mantras is what you really want. The uh, negative side is there's the potential of us being surrounded by strangers or strangers coming up, trying to extract uh, from us. This could be a family member. This could be a friend. It also could be a romantic partner. They're just trying to pull energy from you. Uh, so just be discerning and know the difference. Following the magician here, now we have the Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana, Stroke of Luck, okay, Fate and Destiny card, being somewhere uh, at the right time and then maybe something auspicious uh, opens up or happens to you. If you are the Sagittarius that does, you know, casino runs and, and uh, playing a lottery, unfortunately, the 1.35 billion a uh, lottery has been hit, and it was a ticket that was sold up in Maine, I believe. It's like, whoa, I don't want all that money. I just want some of it, okay? Because that person, whoever they are, you know, whoo. Anyway, that's another story altogether. Wheel of Fortune, something that may have um, not been fortunate for you, Sagittarius, may turn around for you in your favor during this week's time. All right, so that's the will of fortune. Just when it comes to that gambling, though, just play responsibly. Don't overdo it. You only need one ticket to win. And you figure out all these tickets that were purchased, people uh, purchasing multiple tickets. You know what your chances are of winning that damn lottery? Oh, my gosh. And somebody in Maine. <laughs> and they said it was a road, roadside gas station. I'm like, what the hell? Come on. Anyway, I'm happy for him. Page of Cups here is the uh, pregnancy news, childbirth. It could be the job offer. New relationships, of course, be informed. Platonic and romantic. Page of Cups. Up next, we have the Three of Cups. So there is a need to celebrate here. Sagittarius, someone's birthday, anniversary. Uh, just, you know, during that quality time with family members, romantic partners, and spending time with friends. Could be co-workers after work at happy hour. It's a card of happiness, joy, and celebration. Following the Three of Cups now, we have the World card, another major arcana. So like the Death card underneath or over top, a completion or a cycle of energy is moving away from you. New cycle of energy is about to open up. It's always usually positive on both ends, the Death card and the World card. The World card represents relationships for me. So again, it could be new relationships. It mirrors the Page of Cups. That could be formed or, you know, begin platonic, romantic. Expect the unexpected when the world card is present. And that's in a good way. Following the uh, major arcana of the uh, world, now we finish off with the Knight of Pentacles. This is the job offer. This is the contract. <laughs> Underneath the um, magician on the negative side, be careful because somebody, some stranger, a family member, a friend could be trying to extract money from you. Otherwise, I regard this as my um, independent, uh, for, yeah, financially independent card. So either you're striving to be or you already are. The Knight of uh, Pentacles is someone who may uh, offer, you know, assistance to you. It doesn't necessarily often, uh, oftentimes have to be financial, but willing to help you. These are caretakers okay unlike you know like cancer and cancer and the more caretakers but these are ca uh, caretakers in their own right too all right in your shadow we have the king of wands queen of cups and the knight of wands wow how about that so you got a lot of people here page of cups is here knight of pentacles is here so King of Wands is always focused on something or someone, intensity, passion, sexual energy, sexual expression. Okay, this also could just, you know, 
exemplify your own Sagittarian energy, the fire. All kings and queens rep uh, represents relationships for me. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Um, so this is, you know, attraction, the King of Wands. So you're either drawing energy towards you or someone is being drawn towards vice versa. Okay, I always seem to screw that up. But anyway, this is <laughs> what you're attracting or somebody's becoming attracted. All right, so the Knight of Wands is just like the King, but it's on an intermediate level. Still sexual energy, sexual expression, um, things building up, heating up. Someone could be just coming along just to assist you, to help you out. And, you know, as quickly as they may come in, they may exit uh, quickly. But when it comes to forming new uh, romantic relationships and or um, platonic friendships, it's just the speed of how those connections may take place. All right. So Queen of Cups, a mother of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. Um, pay attention to your intuition. It may be uh, important for you this week. It also, too, could be explaining how you feel emotionally, uh, either at the beginning, middle, or end of your week. And this is usually pretty good. Mother of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. All right. So this is what I have for you, uh, Sagittarius. Not too bad. I hope I didn't disappoint here. Just take what's necessary. Leave the rest alone. Have a safe week ahead. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.